This training is going to be about the Carol spaces, including red tags, warnings, and stripes. So why do we do Carol checks? We do Carol checks to ensure the proper utilization of space. Through red tags, warnings, and strikes, the Cougar and Baldwin ambassadors can help maintain the Carol spaces. Student organizations are required to have five office hours per week if they have a Carol space. Please make sure to check the Google Drive for the Carol hour sheet in the right academic year and write down the Carols that have the hours during the time that you will be checking. If a student organization is not at the Carol space and they have office hours recorded at that time, please leave a red tag at their space. Here are what the red tags look like. The front says, sorry we missed you, and the back says, from CIA, please return in no more than 15 minutes to the comments desk. Remember, if Carol hours are listed and the student is not currently present at the space, that is when they receive a red tag. How often should you do a Carol check? If you have a shift that is one to two hours long, you'll only need to do a Carol check once. If you have a shift that's two hours or longer, you must do it two times within your shift. Important, please remember that when you leave a red tag at a Carol space to physically write, please return this to the front desk by and then 15 minutes from when you left that tag. For example, this tag was dropped off at the Carol space at 1215. Please note all the Carol spaces that you left a red tag at. If they return the tag, then you can mark them off your list. If they didn't return the tag, then you know where to go pick them up from. Now let's talk about warnings and stripes. We use this system to keep track of organizations and fractions. A warning is a missed Carol hour only. Student organizations can have three warnings. When they reach three warnings, that will equal one strike. A strike can be given out for more than just missed Carol hours. For example, an unclean Carol or an infraction against another group can cause an organization to receive a strike. They can also receive strikes after missed Carol hour warnings have been all given out. Organizations can have up to five total infractions, such as three warnings and two strikes, before being removed from the space. We need to keep track of all the warnings and strikes given out to the student organizations. Make sure to go to the Google Drive to the Carol Hour Sheet and click on the Warnings and Strikes tab. Remember to include the date, time, and your name and the reason for the warning or strike. Make sure to update this document immediately so no confusion occurs. When giving a student organization a warning, you will need to also notify them. You will send an email to the top three officers found on our approved Google Sheet. You will see a pre-written email on the desktop. Remember, change the organization name, date, and time to apply to your situation. Remember to always CC the CIA Operations Coordinator and the CIA Director when sending your Carol Space Warning email. When giving student organizations strikes, the CIA Operations Coordinator will email student organizations. CIA members should email CIA Ops at the end of each of their shifts. They should include the Carol number, organization name, date, time, and why they are getting a strike. That's it for the Carol Checks video. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact the CIA Director at cia.direct at central.uh.edu.